everyone, this is Ariel Royalty and we are back for Let's Play Skyrim episode 115. Last time, we completed Shia Gorath's Daedric Quest and got the Wabajak. And now, we're about to do Vermeer, Vermeer's Daedric Quest and see where that takes us. So let's get started. First things first, I need a couple more potions. So I know where I am headed. <clears throat> hey, you mix potions, right? I like how they can just tell what I do by just looking at me. The mortar and pestle makes potions, if you can't tell from the name. Just step up to the counter. No, I don't have anything. Take a look. Let me know if you come down with the rattles. <clears throat> Just putting a cough sweet in my throat. Because my throat's rather itchy. My duty is to guard Green Emeritus. I help my husband run the finest weapons and armor. Okay, let's see what I can do over here. I may have too many dragon souls and not I enough. We should head on in shouts. Thoring runs the inn. Speak to him. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to read my notes on Vermina. <clears throat> so, wrong document. Vermina is the Daedric Prince of Nightmares and Dreams. Her sphere of influence includes nightmares, psychological terror, torment, dreams, bringing evil omens, and stealing memories. Appearance and personality. Vermina's physical appearance is usually that of a female mage, complete with a flowing robe and deep sleeve, with deep sleeves and a magic staff. She rules the plane of oblivion known as the Quagmire, which describes a constantly shifting nightmare realm. She is one of the Daedric Princes that is consistently depicted as evil or demonic, with a strong preference for psychological torture. At the same time, Daedra worshippers will often pray to her just before sleeping, just before sleeping, likely in hope of warding off any potential meetings during their rest. Vermina is often said to be strongly connected with Magnus, the source of magic on Tamriel. Many scholars believe that through their dreams, 
Even otherwise magically unrelated, mortals can slip into Quagmere and behold Vermina's presence. Upon speaking to her, Vermira will explain that mortals visit her constantly in their nightmares, speak to her in their sleep, and often wake in a cold sweat upon leaving her presence. Most mortals are unaware of this meeting, however, as they cannot remember anything that occurred during their dreams. After a true remembered encounter with a, the Daedric Lord, her followers will often claim that nothing unknown nor holds any fear for them, as nothing can possibly is frightening as being in Vermina's presence. And the dog was barking. Vermina does not appear much in the law of Tamriel, with one notable exception. When seeking a cure for vampirism on Vardenfell in the Elder Scrolls III, Vermina is named as the source of Molag Bao's information on how to cure the disease. So Vermina is the only one who can cure vampirism, and those who wish to help others with vampirism must convince Vermina to teach them how to do it, or they must do a ritual where they ask Vermina to remove the vampirism from the particular person. So that is all I got. Not much! <clears throat> My dog thinks she's being helpful by barking to let us know someone's at the door when really she's disrupting my recordings. Okay. Now. This is the guy we need to talk to. Yes, sir. <coughs> the entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger. But I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmare. This is a local favorite, and one of the first songs I ever learned. Red Wonderful. Red. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return, apart from visions of horror and despair. Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display, like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes with a voice wielding huh? power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. <clears throat> Follow me. It's this way. It feels good to finally have a chance to help these people. Helplessly watching them suffer has been difficult.
The tower on that hill is our destination. People around here call it the Tower of the Dawn. I'm not familiar with the tower's history, but it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcrawler Temple was established inside. When the temple was active, the priests would rarely be seen in Dawnstar. They preferred to live a solitary existence. The temple's been abandoned for decades now. Ironic, isn't it? A ruin within a ruin. There's a small shrine tomorrow I established inside the tower's entry hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from here. Call this a short walk?
Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. Years ago, no. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. The Miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the Miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who have been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. Once we get inside, all become clear. Huh? Give me just a moment, and I'll have this over. to say right now. Now I can show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. Reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. How come the miasma isn't affecting us? Or is it because it's dispersed? Released. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. Yes, you're right. I should have. But I didn't know what to say. When the orcs raided the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters behind to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Law holds that the Skull of Corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The Skull has been out of touch for so long, I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. 
What it does with these memories is just conjecture, and an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. We must interrogate. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. It's just up here. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the Awakened within. Keeping them. Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? We must attack. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as. Information I need. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level. That's a thick book. Yes, my daughter. Let me take a look. <coughs> More will be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. Yes, the Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. I assure you, the Dream Stride is well known in Verminian lore. Sadly, I'll have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. I will not lie to you. There is some risk involved. The last time the torpor was involved could have been decades ago. But I swear upon Lady Mara, 
that I will do everything within my power to prevent any harm from befalling you. All believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. You'll be viewing the memory of another through your own eyes and with your own body. Those around you will perceive you as normal, and you will find the words you utter may not be your own. Thanks to all of these odd principles, there is quite a lot of debate as to whether this is really a dream or just the machinations of their mina. I will watch over you as you slumber to ensure your safety. If I deduce anything is amiss, I will use my arts to bring you back. Otherwise, I am uncertain what will end your dream stride. Perhaps when Vermina's curious appetite has been filled. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. Well, that is not the alchemical laboratory. similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. The torpor should be in a tall bottle with dark liquid. Find it. Bring it to me. Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with?
Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guide us the rest of the way. Drink. Dawn Star's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. Let's continue. We still have much to do. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Kazan? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell.
Surprised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. That will help. Never should have come here. Well, they weren't going to run out of ropes.
You're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I... I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies! I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. For Dawnstar! Break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. In time, I believe I will. I'd construct an Amiga shrine tomorrow in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you. Zora's wisdom to you, friend.
Okay. That is going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we will sell our unnecessary junk, do some shopping, and go to a couple places because I want to get some shelves. So until then, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs>